CBS 46 News presents Public Affairs on Peach. Along, what we're going to do is we're going to come to you. The audience is going to be your show. So we're going to take your suggestions. We're going to throw them onto the actors. We'll create lists, if not use ones you've already uh, created before the show. I'm really sorry for falling on your chest that time. It's okay. That's okay. That's that's the name of the game. Sometimes you're doing the falling on, and sometimes you, you fall. It's just one of the hilarious scenes at Whole World Improv Theater. The nonprofit theater group is celebrating 20 years here in Atlanta, and they want you to be a part of their next big performance. Good morning to you. I'm your host, Adam Murphy. Who doesn't need a good laugh every now and then? Plus, the jokes can be even funnier when there's absolutely no script. Emily Riley Russell is one of the members over there at the Whole World Theater. And thank you so much for being on the program this morning. Thank you for having us. So tell me a little bit about this organization. And I understand you are the catalyst behind it all. Oh, well, I'm one of the founding members. And we've been together for 20 years. This is our 20-year anniversary in October. Congratulations. Thank you. And so tell me a little bit about this concept. Um, is this something you had in mind back in college maybe when you were performing or interested in theater? Well, um, I am a theater major. I graduated from Georgia State University, but I uh, originally started off at Georgia Southern University where I met David Webster. David Webster is our founding artistic director, and he took classes at Second City and fell in love with improv and came back to Atlanta telling us, this is the thing, this is what we're doing. This is where whole world, this is what, where we need to go. And so we had all been auditioning in town and some people were still in college, but we all got together. We had a workshop one day and the next thing you know, um, a year later, we've got an audience and here we are 20 years later after that. 20 years. 20 years. And what I really like about this uh, is that it's a nonprofit. Yes. How did you guys feel you could sustain a nonprofit with comedy like this? Well, we were uh, very confident, just very confident. And the audience let us know that what we were doing was really great. Our audience has been following us for 20 years, but they've only gotten stronger and stronger. And the word of mouth, that has been our biggest, our biggest asset. And so did you actually uh, decide that when you got out of college, you wanted to obviously be in theater, right? Mm -hmm. But did you know this is what you wanted to do, this this exact idea here? No, no, not at all. They they drug me in kicking and screaming. <laughs> but I would be the one that would keep up with the money and stuff like that at first. And I would help them make their costumes and things. But, um, yeah, because improv is very scary. And I was a, a scripted actress. I, was a, I thought that was a real actress. But then the more you get into improv, um, you just see your world opens up as an actor. There's, it's limitless. Let me just say this, Emily. I have to say, I've been to the theater. It is absolutely fantastic. Some of the funniest actors and actresses, really, that you'll ever see. And they're so good off the cuff. Yes. And, and that's what you guys, with the um, improv, you're, you know, quickly off the cuff. And you involve the audience. Talk a little bit about that when they come to see a show. Well, what you can expect is that from the moment you walk in to the theater, it's a party. And we have people that are going around, they're asking for suggestions that drive the different scenes that are going to happen on stage. Like we might get a list of uh, emotions or different impersonations that you might want to see. And then we go into the theater and the actors come out on stage. The MC asks for different suggestions again to get the scene started. And then you get to see as an audience member your ideas brought to life on stage right before you. And you think, this is magic as an audience member, it but really from is. us, there's a real technique and training and a method to it, you know? Tell me about the mission of the theater. Okay, well, we are an artistic home for actors and artists. We want to provide a place where you can learn and grow and, and fail. And that's a big part of being an artist, is, and that's where we learn anyway as human beings, is in the failure. So this is a safe place where you can, um, where we celebrate each individual and there is no judgment. So I'm interested more uh, as well about the nonprofit angle here and who you support. You obviously bring in funds by people that come to the theater, right? Buying tickets? Yes. Seeing the show? Concessions yes. maybe? Yes. And so what do you do with the funds as a nonprofit? Well, everything that we make just turns right back into the theater. And that is how the lights stay on, the rent that we are able to support in Midtown. Um, you know, we also, we pay our actors. That's a big thing for us is that we've been able 
over 20 years to pay a, a stipend. It's not a living fee, but it certainly, you know, allows a little boost mm -hmm. to the performers. And we have a staff of uh, actors, artists that are on full time as well. Do you support other charitable organizations as we well? We do, we do. We um, mainly support Boys and Girls Club of America. We are uh, providing scholarships Great. to children that might not be able to afford our summer camp program or maybe our youth and teen program. Tell me about your performances. I understand you have one free one a month? Yes, we do. That's at Atlantic Station. We call it Improv in the Park. And that is a community outreach program that we do. We invite everyone out there. It's um, March through October, and it's the first Wednesday of every month. And you're on Spring Street here in Midtown Atlanta. And so what about that area? Has it flourished because you continue to bring so many people in to see your shows? Yes, I would say it was pretty much a ghost town when we came in 20 years ago and set up shop. And now it really is thriving. We have a great community around us. Zifty is right next door, which I don't know if you're familiar with Zifty, but they mm -hmm. are a delivery company and they support us. Um, we have Tin Lizzie's right up the street, um, the uh, Cypress Pint and Plate. All, we all support each other. They give us gift cards. We have a show on Saturdays at 1030 called The Wheel of Improv, and we spin the wheel, we play games, and we also give away prizes. Emily, great job. Whole World Theater, it is so fun. We're actually going to give you a feel for what you get when you go see a show here coming up on the program in a moment. But first, let's talk a little bit about uh, where you guys are and what you're hosting. Uh, you have a huge fundraiser. It's the first annual, let me say this right here, uh, froth and giggle, am I right about that? You said it right. Okay. You said it with a straight face. Yeah, I'm Ooh, impressed. My goodness. It's in honor of their 20th anniversary celebration, Saturday, October 11th. Red Brick Brewery and all details on the website, wholeworldtheater.com. And when we come back, we're talking about what it takes to perform improv and what it takes to be a part of this group. You don't want to miss it. A lot of fun here in this half hour on Public Affairs on Peach. <laughs> 